We had reported in June this year, that the Agni-1 Prime missile might have the capability to target enemy aircraft carriers. Interestingly, in a latest interview to Strat News Global yesterday, the former DRDO chief and the chief architect of Agni series of ballistic missile systems Dr. Avinash Chanda has said, that the Agni-1 Prime missile has a maneuvering re-entry vehicle, and has the capability to hit moving targets like aircraft carriers. This is a very significant development, as India can sink enemy aircraft carriers from a range of 2,000 km with the Agni-1 Prime missile, that has a speed of Mach 22 in the terminal phase. The Agni-1 Prime is highly mobile and can be transported on trucks, and this new missile will avoid any domination by enemy aircraft carriers in the Indo-Pacific region. India has launched the 7th Advanced Talwar class frigate INS-2 SEAL for the Indian Navy at the Yantar shipyard in Kaliningrad, Russia. India and Russia had signed the contract for the delivery of four additional stealth frigates in 2018, and under the contract, two frigates are being built in Russia, and the other two frigates are being built in India by Goa Shipyard Limited. The hull and superstructures are designed to have low radar acoustic and infrared signatures, and will come equipped with Indian-built sonar system, advanced sensors, surface surveillance radar, communication suite and anti-submarine warfare system, and weapons like Brahmo's supersonic cruise missile and Kashtan close-in weapon system. Hindustan Aeronautics has announced that it has made a milestone delivery of the 200th gun bay door, for Boeing's F-A-18 Super Hornet. Boeing has also offered to build a 21st century aerospace ecosystem in India for manufacturing the F-A-18 Super Hornet under 114 MRFA program with Indian partners Hindustan Aeronautics and Mohindra Defence Systems, along with assistance in the 5.5 generation AMCA program. The Minister of State for Defence visited the facilities of Hindustan Aeronautics in Bengaluru today, and he reviewed indigenous products like the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft Advanced Light Helicopter and the Light Combat Helicopter. A limited series production variant of the Light Combat Helicopter is seen in the picture, which had recently conducted its first flight. HAL has already supplied three LCH to the Air Force, and is producing two more units for the Air Force and four units for the Army this year, and the remaining six units will be produced in 2022. The Indian Defence Secretary Ajay Kuma met with the Indian Air Force contingent at the Ovda Air Base in Israel, that is taking part in the Exercise Blue Flag 2021. India-Israel Joint Working Group on Defence was also held in Israel yesterday, in which the Indian Defence Secretary and Israeli counterpart led the delegations to discuss military tech cooperation, and both sides have signed an agreement, to form a joint task force to formulate a 10-year cooperation roadmap. The main objective of the Joint Working Group will be transfer of technology, co-development and co-production, artificial intelligence, innovation and joint export to friendly foreign countries. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has completed the refit of the Mauritius Coast Guard ship Barracuda in a short span of eight months, and the ship was handed over to Mauritius yesterday. Barracuda offshore patrol vessel was designed and built by Garden Reach Shipbuilders, and is also the first warship exported by India, at a cost of 300 crore rupees. The Indian Coast Guard has commissioned the indigenously built Coast Guard ship Shartak in Goa yesterday. The 105-metre-long ship is fourth in the series of five offshore patrol vessels being built by Goa Shipyard Limited, and it will operate on India's western seaboard. The Union government has approved all-weather high-altitude solar power tents, that can be deployed at an altitude of above 17,000 feet, and can function between minus 35 degree to 40 degree plus temperature. The solar-powered tents will help to maintain a temperature of 21 degrees Celsius, and will withstand wind speed of more than 150 kilometers. 
the color of the tents will be camouflaged with the surroundings, and the material will be fireproof.